macros will help us to automate repetitive task open microsoft excel check if developer tab enabled on the work workbook in this workbook we can see it is not enabled so go to options in customize ribbon and add developer tab and press okay now the developer tab is enabled once you click the developer tab you can see various options and in that record macro that's the option we needed for recording the macros in excel sheet to record macro go to developer tab and press record so you give a description whatever and shortcut key you can use it control i have given a if you press control a the macro will run automatically so in this i am going to show you how to find the line stock value from the examples let's open a file let's open a data sheet from nsc i have downloaded for you and we have to find the client share value see there is lot of data as you can see in the sheet Oh, let's check if this reliance is there in this sheet once you come down yes we can see the reliance in the tab let's remove all other data other than reliance so we have deleted and we have only got the reliance data and let's select the data for today for a, let's see if a manager has asked for today's data of clients so we are removing all other data and we are just keeping today's data as you can see we are deleting whichever which is not required for us now we have the data for today as you can see the lines symbol and we have we have just added a border and we have just highlighted the subject line let's say this is the data we needed to our manager on a daily basis so how we can get this so we have recorded it and we have stopped the recording and this is the data we have we have to save as reliance share price or whatever and we have saved it and we have also saved the macro we can close this page and we have to save the macro file as well while saving macro file save it carefully save it in your desktop wherever you want it i'm saving it in a separate folder give a name i have given as macro book and save type as excel macro enabled book book has been saved and we are closing this book let's say next day we have another data set the same type of data sheet and we just need reliance share prices for that particular day let's see how our macro will help us to find this data we have saved the file and we just have to run the macro now we have already added the calculations and let's go to our data sheet we have opened the macro book now add enable content 
there will be a security warning and enable it go to the developer tab this time we have already recorded the macro click the macros in there see macro one that's the one we have recorded earlier and just press run the new excel has automatically calculated the new value you can cross check with the old value Client share price on 19th May. This was the old value. This is the new value and client share prices of 19th May, as you can see, on 1457. And open. And in the new value, it is 1450. Basically, we are automating the repetitive tasks. Thank you.